Good morning. I'm just opening up the farm shop. Usually dad does this, but he's away. Let me put the rest of the lights on. One more set of switches. There's more switches down there, but that goes down into the cafe area. Just leave that. I've not done a wee farm shop tour for our dome case. So here you go. I'll show you the cafe bit as well. More lights. One more set of lights. This is one seating area, second seating area, and then there's double doors through there into kind of a semi-function room, semi-normal seating area. Tills, whatnot, kit cabinet, that gets filled up in the mornings. And then you move on to gifts, mugs, books, teddy bears, soaps. It smells like Christmas in here because there's quite a lot of Christmas stuff out. All the Christmas stuff's out. Keep going down a bit, you get to cards and wrapping paper and onto sweets and chocolate. Booze area over here. Quite a large area, which Bandit Beer will be in very soon. But an update from the bottlers should be arriving end of next week. You might be seeing this next week, so it'll be end of this week. I will update when you, when I know the exact date it's going to arrive, but for now it's looking roughly like the very 1st of December. From the booze, entrance is here, more lights. When you come to the place you come through that door. This is the veg area, it all gets put away into chillers at night time, comes out, gets refreshed in the morning. So that's where I came up through the gifts and all that. That's where the booze is, this is the entrance. And then all down that direction is all food, butchery, deli, etc. And that's all the tills down the right hand side there. We'll go for a quick wander. A quick gander. Tillers get closed at night to keep the cool in, a bit more efficient when they're covered up. This was the new section we added whoa, a few months back. It just fell into place, there was a bit of space and we were doing other work, so we filled that in. Round into the butchery. Everything's covered up, I'm not gonna touch it, but if you come in yourself, you'll see the nice butchery display, which we've won awards for. Scotch Butchers Club Challenge. We've won that two years on the trot, you beauty. Come on. Get some bandit beer in there. Anyway, that's most of it. Here it is on a map, by the way. It's just about two miles from Broxen roundabout, so just off the A9, very, very near Broxen roundabout right in the middle of Scotland, kind of. Anyway, I've got cattle to go and load now. That's the bakery in there. There's one baker in at the moment. Got myself a livestock trailer now. Yard three, three bound. Need some passports, which are, I think I'm down here. I'm thin. Good on in. Come on, come on. Keep moving, keep going. Hoo, hoo. This is our second last load of beef heading off for Christmas orders. Hey, 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 hey! Just check their ear tags. Should have a 72, a 67, and a 70 something. Yeah, 73, 73, I think. This one should be a 67. A three hour round trip to the abattoir with these cattle, and then we need to get some cows shifted into the shed we're renting for a few months. We're just shifting the last of the cows now. We've got the tyre fixed on the trailer. It's actually around the other side. Load number two. Two more to go after this. Two more cows and that's it, job done. It's yellow now. I, I wasn't filming it, but that skip's now yellow. It's a day later. I ran out of paint, so the middle's not done and it's a bit patchy down the bottom, but that's plenty. And I think I was using the wrong thinners and I didn't get my gun set up very well. It's a nice from far, far from nice kind of job. Just squint really hard when you look at it. Works a lot better. If you want to see a magic trick with my Defender, I'm gonna press the brake and watch what happens. Brake going on, lights come on. Brake going off, lights go off. It's been so windy through the night. And the bins, oh, 
I'll show you in a minute, but there's plastic lying everywhere. We're just dropping off a van. We've already got another van somewhere in here that's got issues. Oh no, it's probably in the doorway. Next door to the garage is cellars. Something in there that's ours. Shiny. So you can see why on a windy day, we're needing to do something about the bins because just plastic everywhere. We're going to pick it all up. Kev's the way to load up that with ammonia straw take along the road too. We are at 1.5. I've grabbed some new spotlights for the workshop here. So just getting these all wired up. Solder that to that. That's one joint done. That's one wired in. These lights are just coming on. I've got these spotlights on, just, seen, just to give you a bit of a gauge of what it's like. I'm just deciding where it's best to put them. The higher, the better. It spreads the light out more. I've jimmied one of them onto a short plug just so I can try it in a few places before I solidly wire it in. It's just a trial before I fit it properly. Right. Definitely a lot brighter in here. I don't know if it needs to go higher still and more centralized. I've got that one and one more, which I've just been wiring here. Let me know your opinion. So this is it right now. And this is it before the light. Flipping wind. It's better than rain, I guess. That mini skip can now go out, so the cardboard that's there just now, I'll just shift it. I'm going to time how long this job takes, see how much time we've saved. Still a bit to go there. It's quite windy, I don't want to fill this too full. We're doing cardboard all down the yard. This is the way we normally do it. Fill the bucket up. Well, around, empty the bucket, which is a lot wider than the cardboard recycling bin. That's three quarters of it, one more bucket full. And then the mini skip can go in. How much tidier and neater is this area? All we're left to do is get the wall up and then that'll stop with all the rubbish blowing down the yard. That, oh, bless. That's that extension, the whole back of the shop complete, finally. Ah, it's been a, it's been like a three year project. Planning to get it all was, took 18 months. Took us a year and a bit to do it. Right, that's that done. Right, that's taken exactly 15 minutes. So, if it's all in one skip, probably won't get as much in, although the guys saw make sure and flatten everything before they put it in the skip, pick up skip, drive round to that bin, lift it up, undo latch, tip, flat back, back round to where the skip's to go to the butchery. You'll just about shave 10 minutes off of that. Seems like a lot of effort we've gone to, mini skip, buffing it down, painting it, getting it ready to go in. All in all, it's probably taken, oh, we had to cut that hole in as well, it's maybe taken a day's work for 10 minutes saving. 10 minutes a week, it's 500 minutes, it's 500 and 20 minutes a year, which is just shy of nine hours a year, which is basically one day a year. It's cost us a day, but it's gained us a day a year every year. A day, a whole day. And it's a much easier job to go and do. Pick it up, tip it, back to normal work. See if it fits now, I'd say we've never tried it to see if it fits. Oh, it's, it's quite tight. We did our measurements and we left it with 50 mil, mil either side, so it is, it is fairly tight. Like a glove. Beauty, it's almost like we cut it to size. There we go, guys can chuck the cardboard in there. 
Last thing is just these cut bits of wood could do with a wee lick of paint. I'm gonna put the extension on the forklift and sort out these lights in the workshop. Although it is dry, we're gonna go and do some, there's a bit of fencing to do. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll abandon the lights. They can wait for a rainy day. Might be enough. I've got more if I need. Lovely machine. Here we go. Bruiser's on its way, so we'll get a bit of bruising done since we've moved those cows and need a wee bit of feeding for them. Uh, also had a phone call from salesman, a sales rep. There's a shiny thing getting delivered today. I've made a wee bit of a mess, but... Uh, Highland cows are brutal on fences. That was the first Highland Angus, Hangus calf that was born. It's grown like thunder. Motoring along. I thought it was a bit drier than that, but anyway. Too late now, we're in. Pretty much every post along here is goosed. Well, probably. I'm surprised I've not walked through it. Got a slightly better fence now. I ended up probably putting 20 new posts in. If we look beyond this one, this is the one post that went in really squint. I hit something hard down there. The rest is, ugh. I wouldn't get a job as a fencer anyway, but it's upright and it's a bit better than it used to be. They're less likely to escape now. That's one bit down, a few more to go. That whole bit of the top is brave. Rope ain't even looked at. Deliberate, wait for it. Wait for it, wait for it, oh you beauty. Not that thing on the front, the thing on the back. Come on guys. Look at that shiny thing. Lovely. Gone from that trailer and upgraded to this trailer. We're not getting rid of this one, but it's, it's looking a bit worse for wear. It's done a lot of time. It used to do a lot of turnips. Anyway, we bit the bullet and we went for a Stuart flatbed. Got flotations on the back of it as well. A bit less damage to the fields. They sink fairly swiftly when you hit a soft spot. And a strap box, nice. Lovely, jubbly, just getting taken it off. You got goodies in there. Right, we got this trailer sorted. There's a lorry just arrived for wheat. Kev's away to load that. We're just out here in this field doing the fences. Cheers for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>